This video is going to cover the basics of custom fields in Active Demand. When you first start off with your Active Demand account, organizations and contacts already have a predefined set of data elements that describe the contact or the organization. The set is quite minimal as we do not want to impose a metadata model on your specific contacts or organizations. To give you ultimate flexibility, we give you the opportunity to build your own custom field types for organizations and for contacts. To create and edit your custom field types, you will browse from your main account, administration, account settings, scroll and look for custom field types, and this is where you will find the custom field type editor in active demand. There's really two types of custom fields. One's, one set of custom fields is set for contacts, another is set for organizations. When you create a custom field type, several things are actually created. First, of course, if you're creating uh, a custom field type for a contact, there will be a new option on every contact within your account that will enable you to set the value of this specific custom field type. Another thing that is created is a custom form element that's used in, for example, web forms or in forms on landing pages. This enables you to let the uh, present a form field to your prospects and they can choose themselves as to what they're interested in and it will set the form type on, or the custom field type rather on the specific contact or organization. Another thing that's created is a dynamic field and the dynamic field allows you to reference the custom field type in the body of an email or on the body of a landing page. Another thing that's created when you create a custom field type is a query element that's used in the query engine for contact uh, list segmentation or for, for example, lead scores or these types of things. You, Wherever you have access to uh, the query engine, again, there's now the option to uh, query the specific contact or for his uh, custom field type on the contact or on the organization. So I'm going to create a custom field type for a contact. Regardless of whether you're creating a custom field type for a contact or for an organization, there's multiple uh, custom field types. And uh, the data type could be a single option pick list or a multiple option pick list, just plain text, a date time, or a checkbox type scenario. And for this one, I'm going to choose a uh, multiple options uh, pick list. And this is on the contact, and what I'm going to uh, uh, give the contact the opportunity to do is select what types of services the person is actually interested in. In this case, we have delivery services and training services. And we'll call this uh, um, product interests. And I'll go ahead and save this. So now I have one custom field type, and I'm going to add a couple of more and on the contact as well. This time I'm going to put on the uh, create a contact, a custom contact role. And again, this one's going to be a single option uh, pick list because you can only have, in my example, one role in the company. So it's either executive or in engineering or in purchasing. Now I'm going to create another custom field type and this one's going to be on the contact and the idea is is we're going to use this to trigger a drip campaign for the specific contact. So we can imagine that we have a couple of nurture campaigns built in active demand and uh, ideally I would like to be able to just go to the contact, select an option and the person is automatically put into a drip campaign. So the drip campaigns, I'm just going to again add a contact uh, custom field and this one's going to be single option because I really only want to have the person uh, added to one drip campaign at a time. And I'm just going to put in here. And we have a few, learn more about Acme or your company, learn about our delivery products and learn about our training services. So now I have three custom field types on contacts and I have one custom field type on organizations. So you notice that in the custom field type there is a position. This allows you to set up the ordering of the custom field types on either the contact screen or the organization screen. Now I'm going to go to the contact and see what it looks like on the contact screen. 
As you see in custom fields for a specific contact, there is actually product interests, drip campaigns, and contact role like we'd set up. And again, you can change the ordering back on the uh, uh, custom field type screen. So if you look here, we can set, uh, you know, delivery interests, or I should say product interests, we can choose one of them, or the contact role, this person's in engineering, and we can as well assign this person to one of the drip campaigns, which we haven't set up yet, but uh, the idea is, again, we want to predefine some custom field types. With a custom list, we can get this person into the drip campaign just by selecting which of the drip campaigns the person's interested in. Now I'm going to go to web forms, and in a web form, I'm going to show you the new web form form elements that are created as a result of adding custom fields to the account. So I'm just going to create a new form. I'm in assets, web forms. I'm going to click a new form here and I'm, this is just an example. So if you see in the form here, go down to custom fields, there are now several new form elements that can be brought into the web form. And again, once you drag this, this element onto the form, when the web form is presented, the person will have the opportunity to select from a pick list what their personal interests are when contacting the organization. Of course, all of the custom field types, we create new custom fields in the web form, but you may not want to present all of these to the user. Uh, it could be just for internal use, but end of the day, like I said, whenever a custom field type is created, it will create a custom form element for all of the custom field types that you create. So now I'm going to show you the contact lists and how they access the custom field types. And this is an example. I'm going to create a dynamic list that uh, will bring in people who've had the specific drip campaign selected on the contact. So in this case, uh, it'll be learn about the services drip campaign list. And again, this people who are entered into the list, this list will be um, automatically added to the uh, uh, learn about services drip campaign in this example. So I'm going to look in the query engine for my custom field. In this case, I'm going to look at the contact custom field. So I'm just going to type in here contact custom field and you'll see there is uh, really several options here. So one is the name of the custom field. The second is the value. So in this case, I'm going to pick the name and it equals and in this case, I'm going to say it is drip campaigns. Now I'm going to add another element, which is the uh, contact. And this is the value. And in this case, it equals. In this case, I'm going to act, choose one of the values out of the, uh, in this case, the drip campaigns. And this one's about uh, um, learning about services. So now anybody who has the learn more about training fields custom uh, uh, field value set, they will automatically be pulled into this list. And of course, the assumption is, is they will be uh, added to the drip campaign that will drip a bunch of emails specifically about the services. And I'll go ahead and save this list. So the next thing I'm going to show you is about field mapping of the custom fields to your CRM. If you've got a CRM linked to your active demand account, you have the option when a lead is created or pushed to the CRM, which fields are mapped to the fields in your CRM. And custom fields are just like any other field in active demand. You get the choice to choose where this, which of these fields we pushed into the CRM and which of these things will not be pushed into the CRM. So if we go uh, administration account settings back to our custom fields there is a will be a CRM field mapping uh, button if you have a CRM linked to your account in this example the account is linked to pipe drive so I'll show you what it looks like with uh, with the pipe drive integration so we click on the custom fields tab. This shows all of the custom fields that are created in active demand for both contacts and for organizations. And we will choose whether we're going to map the custom fields to a contact field in Pipedrive or an organization field in, in, in Pipedrive. And one of the things that uh, we often do is we will create a custom field in the CRM that mimics the custom field in uh, active demand. 
And basically, you'll pick from the fields that are pulled directly from the CRM. And again, you can map which of these fields will be pushed into the CRM. So when the salesperson sees the contact pushed into the CRM as a lead, they'll have some extra information related to either the contact or the contacts organization. Another feature that Active Demand has is a contact sync with a CRM. So if you've got a CRM uh, hooked up, you also have the ability to control which fields are pulled from the CRM back into Active Demand during the sync schedule. And that includes the custom fields. Now I'm going to talk about accessing the custom variables inside an email using the dynamic fields in the body text. So what you see before you is a basic email and really the idea is, is we're going to try to send an email to the prospect and talk about the product interests that they chose on one of the web forms. So we could say this is exciting news, contact first name, you have requested information about and then I'll click on the dynamic field uh, tag here. This is the custom uh, field value dynamic field and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, insert that into the email. And the format is uh, contact custom fields uh, with the value. And right in here, I'm just going to put in the name of their the value, which was the um, uh, product interests. So here I'm saying that you were interested in this product. And voila, it's going to be embedded inside the text. And basically, you put in the name of the uh, name of the custom variable that you're trying to access and uh, uh, put it into the body of the text using the dynamic fields. So this concludes this video about custom fields and active demand. Hopefully, you've seen that using custom fields is very powerful. And it is very easy within the custom field builder.